Right, now let's import an FBX. In the first couple of switches, lights, cameras aren't really important. What you want to do is first make sure that you create sibling bones for the joints because those bones are being used and make sure that the scaling is being baked into the rig. Obviously, if you want to use morphs or blend shapes, you have to import the morphs as blend shapes, blend shapes as morphs, uh, but we won't do that for this simple test scenario. Once the FBX has been imported, we will simply drag the FBX node path into a rerig node, run the script, and are basically done. And I'm stretching basically because the output here says that some bones may not be connected correctly to the joints that carry the weights. And we're going to have a look at one example, which is the chest upper part. That's the most complex part you may have to correct. With some rigs, it will work right off the bat, but here with the Genesis uh, meshes, it just doesn't. So when I align the bones and the accompanying joints, I can better see what's actually going on. The center bone, which should be driving the upper part of the body, is just driving the neck, while the right, his left shoulder bone, is driving all of the upper body part and his right shoulder is just okay. So what we have to do is actually exchange the right shoulder part, this one here, with the center bone uh, that drives the head. And we want to have the weight for the upper body, which is on the, on the null, on the joint that's in the center here. We want that to be driven by the center bone itself. So one thing you have to make sure is that all the bones you're dealing with have their key positions active. Then you simply exchange the two bones that have been miswired. So the, uh, the right shoulder goes to the center part, the center part goes to the right shoulder. And then you put the, the joint which carries the weights for the upper body below the center bone so that when you turn the center bone, the upper part of the body gets rotated. Let's have a che check and it seems to be working just fine. His left shoulder, the right bone is driving his right or his left arm area. Center bone is correctly driving all of the upper body part and his right shoulder part is untouched. It's still working okay. Let's have a look at another example, which is the pelvis. And that's usually really just the other one you have to check because the rest, as I will demonstrate in a moment, is okay. So with the pelvis, it's even simpler. It's just that one of the two pelvis bones is driving all of the lower part of the body, while the other pelvis bone is correctly driving one of the legs. And what we want to do is actually have the pelvis part been driven by the joint alone and the two bones just driving the legs. So again, we have to make sure that key position when parenting is active and then we rewire the bones so that the hierarchy is correct. I have to drag over the, the parent here, the, the hip stuff, so that we can wire that in and then just reconnect the bones in the hierarchy that you want to have. And that's all. Give it a simple test here. The, the bed legs are correctly driven by their bones. And if you do select the center joint, the pelvis, you can rotate the body or I'm sorry, you can rotate the lower part of the body. You don't really have to deal with most of the other bones that have been found here because they will get control handles that you can drive by by the rig control handle size and they take care of the correct management of hands and feet parts like toes and so on. That's it. That's all I wanted to add. 